Case of sacrilege. Ow, what the f What the f Oh my god, dude. No way, no way. I got so lost in the sauce of all the damn continuum tears everywhere that I just like did not see anything that happened in that room. I lost track of where I was. I lost track of where the enemies were. I lost track of where my tears were going. It was a damn nightmare. <laughs> like, what's the deal with there being no playable robot character in Isaac? Have you ever thought about that? Has anybody ever thought about that? You can play as, like, a lot of goofy little freaks in this game, you know? Undead corpses, uh, ghosts, like, a skeleton. There, there's, there's a lot of stuff like that, but no robots. No robot transformation, either. You get, like, a bunch of- you can, like, pick up a bunch of technologies and stuff, but there's, like, no transformation associated with them, right? It's just, uh, just some, uh, robot-themed items, I suppose. That's about it. There's a robo-baby, I guess. There's a good chance that I will suffer. Uh, because this character is very easy to die as. You get mind flooded for one room, you suck at picking up money for a room, you feel like killing yourself, you know? That sort of stuff. I need to find my shop here, brother. This isn't the shop. Where the hell is my shop at? I want to walk in there and see like a damn... I don't even know, man. I just want to see something cool. I just want to see something cool in here. Mama Mega is interesting. Mama Mega is interesting. <laughs> I definitely don't want dunce cap, and I don't really care much for buddy in a box, so you know, I'll just buy Mama Mega. I won't use it this floor, because I feel like there's not much use for it on this floor. I don't even want to go to my library. You know how messed up that is? If I go into the library, I still have to pay for the damn books, so I don't even want to go in there. I might want to use Mama Mega. I'm not sure. Maybe I want to use it on this floor, but I feel like I get more usage out of the next floor because I can kill rooms with it, right? Then again, that might be a bad thing considering it's going to make collecting money way harder. That's like the whole problem with Mama Mega is it kind of kills everything in the room instantly, which makes it very difficult to collect all the money. So, ah, fuck it. I'll use it on this. I'll use it on this fight. I was realizing like how little damage I was doing to Baby Plum and I realized, ah, you know what? Screw it. Plus there's some goodies in it for me here. Plus I might be able to get enough money for that uh, Mr. Dolly that would uh, be pretty cool to have. Okay, speed down sucks. Telepills is annoying. I didn't want to go in here, but I guess it's not that bad because this is a good item and I also got the money to pay for it immediately, so maybe it's not that bad after all. Maybe everything is fine. Yeah, no, these pots are paying out with money, huh? <laughs> Damn. Anyway, more pills, health up, and luck up. Luck up is nice. Oh, cool, a quarter. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm kind of like swimming in cash. There's my secret room. Uh, Swallow Penny is also an amazing trinket. I, ha I hate to pass up the goat hoof for it, but Swallow Penny is probably going to keep me alive going forward. It's, there's a very good chance I will live solely because of it. And now I can also buy Mr. Dolly. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I'm glad I used Mama Mega. Turns out that was the right choice. It made me a lot of money. It gave me access to a lot of items I would have otherwise not have had access to. A lot of good things have happened solely because of Mama Mega. So everybody say thank you to Mama Mega for being a friend, for being good to me. Yeah. Let's check the shop first. I wanted to skip the item room last floor and I didn't get to because, uh, you know, I teleported in. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe I'll skip it this time. Maybe I'll just spend all my money on the shop and then I won't have a reason to go to the item room, right? What do you got? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, there's a lot in here, huh? Give me the tears up. Give me the red stew. Give me... No, I don't want that, actually. Give me this for conjoined. Yeah, spend all your money. Now I need a bit more money before I fight the boss. In case I want to maybe walk into my devil deal. I guess it's not too bad if you don't have enough money for your first devil deal as a keeper. Because you can just pass it up and then get a guaranteed angel deal later, right? You just gotta remember to have the money for that instead. I'm gonna goad it with it, as the kids would say. <laughs> I don't know. Do kids still say goad it with the sauce? Is this breaking it down sexual style still something the kids are into nowadays? Or are we, are we out of that phase already? Messed up, man. Oh, cool. That's damage, though. Okay, yeah, I'm passing up the devil deal, that's for sure. I uh, just... Kind of mainlined it for the damage. It's on me. That one's on me, to be fair. But hey, I couldn't resist, man. You show me, you dangle the damage up in front of my face. I gotta take it, brother. You're really trying to make me go to my item room, huh? Nah, man. I'm actually gonna skip it. I'm a bit ahead of the curve right now. I Why would I walk onto that? Thank you, Small Penny, for being a friend. Maybe get a planetarium going. That'd be pretty cool. Even if I'm a floor late or a floor behind now or something, it'd be pretty dope. Pretty awesome. Anything cool in this shop? Oh, chaos. Uh, yeah, don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'm committing to chaos. Screw it. Even though I could have gotten a de an angel deal this floor, I'm committing to chaos. Screw that, man. I love chaos. Wow, that's a lot of tinted rocks in here, huh? <laughs> Three troll bombs from a single chest? What the hell? I can't say I've ever had that happen before. Inverted tower card in, in big rooms kind of go to- I don't want to walk all the way around. I'm too lazy. So I will blow that open just to be able to get to this. Oh, small rock. Nice. My speed is going to be 
atrocious, but at the very least, I'll have a lot of damage. There's no point in trying to collect any other money against Min Min. It's never gonna happen. It's not happening. I will gladly take this, though. Didn't get a deal. That's actually perfect, uh, considering... Well, it wouldn't be great anyway because of chaos. <laughs> I should definitely start going to item rooms now. Even though I skipped one for planetarium chance, now that I got chaos, first of all, planetariums aren't gonna be planetariums, and second of all, yeah, this could be anything. It could even be something great. That could just pay out with coins, which is actually totally fine for me. Matter of fact, catch my ass probably going to the damn challenge room on this floor. I just gotta find a way to injure myself somehow, and then I'll touch the white fire, and I'll basically be fine to go in there anyway. Ventricle razor. All right, never mind. <laughs> not bothering with that one. It is not worth my time. Yeah, my tier rate's kind of crazy now, huh? I just, I just like internalized it. Like it's actually kind of crazy. I don't want Isaac. Sorry, forget about that. That is certainly not happening. Curse of the Blind? Really? You're gonna hit me with the Curse of the Blind here? That's kind of rude, I'll be honest. Also, when did I get this much money? What the hell? I guess it is Keeper at the end of the day. You do get a lot of money and you kind of don't even notice it. You just ambiently get rich, which is really funny. I love the idea of just ambiently getting a lot of money. Bankers will hate him. This is with this one simple trick. This is how banks work. You just ambiently get a lot of money by doing absolutely nothing. Like, what does your bank actually do, dude? They don't do anything. They just have money, and for some reason they get more money if you give them money or something. It's weird like that. I gotta buy everything in here, because it could be crazy good stuff. It was actually quite a decent shop, all things considered. Hello there, friends. I can't believe it's not Gideon, honestly. The last thing you'll see me complain about is not fighting Gideon. Unless I had a Chaos card. If I had a Chaos card right now, yes, I'd be sad about not fighting Gideon, but... I mean, it, who wouldn't, right? What the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? Jesus Christ, calm down. Oh my lord! I forget these guys kind of like home in on you a little bit when they when they get close. All right, no deal once more. That's fine. Again, it don't matter. It's chaos anyway. I missed out on an extra potential item, so who cares? Two of diamonds has the potential to do the funniest thing here right now. What I, what I mean by that? Uh, keep me alive, basically. If I ever get hit and I'm in a position where I can't grab money, two of diamonds it. Boom, you're good. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Might as well donate a little bit. I'm gonna get money for days anyway. Maybe I can get a luck up out of this. There you go, it jammed. That's fine. Alright, get me out of this fresh hell. I hate Crystal Blind. I don't want to have anything to do with it. I want out of here. Oh, there's a planetarium. Well, if only I hadn't taken Chaos. But how was I gonna know, right? How was I gonna know I was actually gonna get one? Let's just see what we've got in here. Wow. <laughs> I gotta say, it's gonna be hard to convince me. <laughs> Let's say it like that. Oh, dude, Pentagram is worth it, though. It's a nice little damage up plus deal chances. Who's the boss? Hornfell. Oh, dude, this should be like a pushover, man. My damage output is tremendous. Bro doesn't stand a chance. There you go. He's already dead. What the heck? Spirit Sword? I don't have 30 cents, but it doesn't really matter. I'll take a guppy's tail. Why not? I'll fight an angel statue. Why not? That seems like fun. I should really double my money at some point. I should use this damn two of diamonds for something. I'm, I'm tempted to take Spirit Sword here. It's a tough decision because... End of the day, it kind of doesn't work with quad shot that well. Like, it only makes you spin four times, right? That's all it does. I'll simmer on it for the rest of the floor. I'll probably get more money, so I'll be able to afford it just no problem. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll have to go back to that room anyway to leave, so, you know, I'll encounter it again, and then I'll make my decision then. Might as well buy bottle of pills, man. I got no space per item. I got good pills, so, like, why wouldn't I? And by good pills, I mean I've encountered, like, a few good pills. I don't have... PhD or anything, but still. Whatever, I'll just do this right now. Of diamonds. Mm. Well, to be fair, I'm gonna be in close range anyway to grab money, right? <sighs> Fuck it, spirit sword. It's a spirit sword on what? Yo, Keeper's sword looks cool as hell, dude. <laughs> it's like, it's golden. That's cool as hell, man. If you're wondering why it looks like that, it's because I've got one of, like, several mods that gives, like, every character unique items, and, like, and spirit sword is one of them, so you get unique spirit swords. That is why. Oh my goodness. I forget that every one of these has a chance to drop individual money. Adoption papers. Might as well grab it. Plus, having a uh, sword kind of makes picking up money a little bit easier, because you can pick up money over pits that I would normally not be able to grab, like that, for instance. I don't even know if Ludo does anything with Spirit Sword. I'm just gonna assume it doesn't. It does not seem like it would do anything, so, uh... Yeah, I'm not even gonna take it. This spike block has the potential to do the funniest thing right now. Thank you for stepping on those buttons for me. Alright, my shop. This is where the magic happens. Wow, it's actually quite a good shop, what the hell? That was Apple on sale for 10 cents, that's weird. I'll gladly take this as well, and then I have a card, which is a stars card, which would get rid of X-ray goggles. Hmm. But I gotta. It was not worth it. Oh yeah, because I got chaos. Duh. I got, I got chaos. That was definitely not worth it. I kind of forgot about that whole aspect, that that, yeah, that, that would still be affected by chaos. <laughs> Whoops. 
I'm so glad for my range being as high as it is, because it makes fighting anything easier. And thank you, Mom's Contacts, for being broken. Yo, sausage? Hell yeah. And in here we have... I'll I'll just take the all the, the damage upgrade, plus range upgrade as well. That's, that's neat. Yeah, this is fine. I got my full key, so I don't care about fighting the other guy. You should have seen the other guy. <laughs> Anybody ever get in a fight IRL? Like, like an actual like fist fight? I obviously can't say I have because, uh, guess what? I don't go outside. But I don't actually uh, visit the establishments where such fights tend to occur, aka nightclubs. Even if I do go outside. I feel like that's something that's like, you know, people always go like, Oh man, I'm getting into martial arts because I want really three red chests and they paid out with three mega troll bombs. That's funny. Again, got into martial arts. I got into like doing karate or whatever because I want to be able to defend myself in a self-defense situation. And then everybody who's ever done martial arts seriously tells them, buddy, that's not how it works. You don't do martial arts to do better in a fight because that's not going to make you do better in a fight. If you want to do better in a fight, you just go like learn how to box or something. That's uh, that's about as good as that gets, right? Right, I feel like if you wanted to just get better at like fighting, like literally just fighting and like being able to defend yourself and <laughs> it could be a life or death situation. You should just like do kickboxing or I don't know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or something like that. I don't know. Like, you know, like actual fighting stuff. You wouldn't you wouldn't want to learn uh, like karate or kung fu, right? I don't think that's that's always just played up for the movies. It's not actually good for fighting, like getting into an actual fight. I'm sure there's like basics of, about any martial art or fighting sports that would be applicable to any fight situation, but for the most part, you know, it's gonna be some limitations. I mean, the best way to win a fight is to just not engage in the first place, right? The second best way to win a fist fight is to, um, is to bring a gun. <laughs> but I know that doesn't apply for anybody who's not American, so naturally I, uh, I can't possibly relate what it would be like to wield a weapon, a firearm of that uh, of that caliber. Is it funny how, like, me like me as a non-gun person, like, I can definitely talk about this? Just because I've, like, literally never held a gun in my life, I don't know what any anything about guns. I literally don't- I, like, know almost nothing about guns, right? Why do gun people get so upset when people who obviously, like, have never held a gun or don't know really what they're talking about confuse what a, the difference between a clip and a magazine is? I could not possibly tell you what the difference between a clip and a magazine is. I know some nerd in the comments is gonna be like, okay, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, it's not meant to be derisive, okay? But I know some nerd in the comments is gonna be like, or actually a clip is, uh, is the, 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 the a clip is what holds the bullets on a semi-automatic weapon like a handgun and a magazine is uh, automatically spring-loaded in fully automated weapons like an assault rifle or something like that. Again, I, I just made all that up. I know somebody's gonna get really upset. <laughs> but you know, like it's, uh, like, people get really upset about that. I guess I guess people wouldn't get upset about me doing this right now because I admit that I have no idea what I'm talking about and I'm asking and inquiring out of uh, partially genuine curiosity. But, you know, it is it is funny to think about it. Sometimes they really do get a very upset. Another inverted tower card. Well, you know what that means. Let me go down to this big room and make a m bunch of tinted rocks. Dude, this inverted tower card has the potential to do the funniest thing right now. It has to just spawn some tinted rocks. That's... That's the goal. And it seems like it spawned one. <laughs> Dude, I kind of want Sigil of Baphomet. It's kind of like a great, a great trinket. But like, Torn Pocket keeps me alive so much. Nah, I gotta take Sigil here, man. It'd be foolish not to. <laughs> I was trying to like talk myself into like, Torn Pocket is great on Tainted Keeper because it basically allows you to always get hit and get money back no matter what. But like, bro, you know what's even better than getting health back immediately if you get hit? Not even getting hit in the first place, which is what Sigil Baphomet allows you to do. So, like, why wouldn't I just rock Sigil Baphomet? Yeah. Let's just annihilate Mom real quick. Yep. This is a... It's a, it's a Spirit Sword runner, right? I got another Angel Deal. Let's go up today. Why not? I feel like going up today. For no particular reason at all. Pageant Boy. Didn't even pay back for itself. <laughs> what a surprise. I'm gonna fight this guy just because I friggin' can! I wanna feel something! What are the, like, gun bits that people really get upset about? Like, gun opinions. I'm not even gonna talk about, like, whole uh, gun control or whatever. I literally cannot be qualified to have an opinion on it. All I know is we don't have widespread guns here, and everything is fine, <laughs> for the most part, right? The only, the only opinion I can have about guns is that, for some reason, in America, people are- There are still people who are like, we need to have more people armed with guns, ex despite the fact that there is, like, a mass shooting every day, you know? But, like, that's the only bit I will go into. Because I think that's just funny. I have no strong stances on gun control either way. Because I literally have never held a gun in my life. I don't know 
what, I, like I, it's it's a different culture, yada yada yada, right? Yeah, let's not even open that can of worms because for some reason it's a, it's a very contentious point for a lot of people. Uh, either way, what other like gun stuff is there that people get my, um, wild about? Is there like you know is it like besides magazine versus clip? Is there like other like what about do people get upset about certain sights on guns, certain attachments? Like if you if you use like a like a foregrip or whatever. Like a front grip, do people call you like a pussy? <laughs> that type of shit we're dealing with here. I mean, the stairway is just cool because it's just extra items per floor. So I'll just have that, thank you very much, and I'll leave. It turns out this run could have been kind of crazy if I didn't take chaos. Because I could have, like, had freaking you know, stairway shops all the time now, which would have been insane. And lord knows what other stuff I would have had if I hadn't taken chaos. But at the same time, I mean, if it's chaos, you're offered, you gotta take it. Like, I, what could- imagine what this could have been if I hadn't taken chaos, man! It ended up being scapula, which is like, whatever. Scapula? Scapula. Seven seals is worth fighting for, in my opinion. Inverted moon cart. Well, again, Lord knows what this could have been. Uh, it won't be anything red item, though, so... How unfortunate, isn't it? How unfortunate. I might as well get scapula. I got no use for my money anyway. If I can keep this lost soul alive, that would be, that'd be crazy. I mean, I gotta get lost soul through a damn mom's heart fight, which... <laughs> all things considered is not the easiest thing to accomplish, but... It should work. I couldn't even keep him alive through a room. I don't think I... I don't think I deserve him. I simply don't deserve him. Stop me if you've heard this one before. The stairway has the potential to do the funniest thing right now. By giving me actual angel items up here, which it kind of did, actually. I think Dead Sea Scrolls is actually an angel deal item. Which is crazy to me. Oh, <laughs> I... I mean, I'm only tap firing anyway, but like, I, I don't need number two. I don't want it. Oh boy. I, dude, I might as well play this guy. I got, I'm, I'm carrying him around for no reason. It's not like I'm gonna re-roll what he pays out with anyway. Oh, okay. Mars? I actually don't want it, because double tapping a movement key will happen a lot to me. <laughs> I don't remember if I installed the mod that makes it so Mars dashing is not bound to a... You know what? Let's do experimentation. Okay, I have installed the mod that makes it so Mars dashing is on a separate button, which I don't even know what it is. It's C? It's C, okay. I can't believe I remembered that. I don't know how I remembered that. So now I don't accidentally Mars dash. It's, it's a teeny tiny little mod, but it, it happens to be quite useful, because... Uh, the only reason I hated Mars was because you would always end up accidentally dashing when you didn't mean to and it would cause you to dash into an enemy and take uh, copious amounts of unnecessary damage. Having that mod makes it a bit more bearable. I can still dash if I want to, like say if I want to go through a, a cursed room door for instance, right? That's what it's useful for. Like if I dash through here, I don't take damage. Isn't that crazy? That's what Mars is useful for. It's got some niche uses like that and with a separate button for the dash, life is good. Oh, there goes Lost Soul again, by the way. Uh, Bound to happen, to be fair. Bound to happen. Catch my ass doing the whole damn cathedral floor just to get absolutely nothing of value out of it. That's, uh, yeah. That's how things happen. Like, seriously, no special room down here either? My god. Not even, like, an arcade or, like, I don't know, a library or anything like that. Nothing. Alright, Isaac. Let's have a fun time. Owie. Thank you, Swallow Penny, for existing. And Piggy Bank, I think, as well. I got both of them, which is crazy. Like, I'm basically invulnerable. <laughs> this is... Outside of getting, like, you know, uh, Deep Pockets and Grid's Gullet, this is about as tanky of a keeper build you can make. As long as I don't get hit twice in quick succession, like, nothing can kill me. Neat. Decent. Oh my god. Okay, wait a minute, this is actually goaded? What the fuck? That's a pretty good chest payout, man, and this has potentially the funniest thing by giving me angel items, which it didn't. Oh well. I'll play this guy because you can pay out with anything, even something good. Or you can pay out with that, which is useless. <laughs> oh well. Okay, Eden's soul is worth holding for a while, filling up. It's just two extra items. I don't desperately need more cards. Like, I can I can wait on the cards for a while. That's okay. Sure, Hashi, welcome to the squad, baby. You're very useful. You will enjoy uh, great benefits from being part of this uh, union, I suppose. There's Spun. That's pretty good. I like me the sounds of that. What the fuck? Okay, this doesn't work with Spirit Sword, but that's cool, I guess. Why am I getting so many chests, by the way? I only got three luck. I mean, I got Guppy's tail, I guess. That would explain it a little bit, but like... I'm getting a lot of chests for some reason. Lucky Foot is great because now I actually get good pills. I wish I still had Mom's bottle of pills. Yeah, I will never take damage in this room because of Sigil Baphomet. That's potentially the funniest thing, aka keep me alive forever. I need to stop saying this. I'm getting fucking NL brain rot, evidently, by saying the same quote over and over again. Eden sold me. Uh... I, I, I mean, you know what? Screw it. Okay. Didn't care much, but like maybe just using Crooked Penny for once is funny, right? Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's kill Blue Bay real quick. My damage is actually like not that crazy, which is a bit, a bit strange. Because it is good, but like I'm not tapping as fast as you possibly can. Uh, I think part of it is uh, 
like it's literally like a hardware limitation as in maybe my keyboard isn't that good but also a hardware limitation as in my wrist isn't that good <laughs> if i were to tap any fast i'm pretty sure i would just destroy my wrist completely for no like noticeable gain oh that's cool hell yeah anyway mega satan time i'm sure this will be a breeze of a fight as long as i tap fast enough okay uh, i don't think i cleared his first phase yet no i didn't no i did i need to get over my hardware limitations and tap faster yeah, I just realized I have like every on hit like give me coins item. I got piggy bank, I got fanny pack, and I got swallow penny. Like literally, if I ever get hit, I will immediately regain all my HP, no matter what, no questions asked. It's really funny. Like literally, what is Mega Saiyan supposed to do here? Unless he manages to hit me twice in quick succession, he will never be able to kill me. I will literally just out heal him. Oh my god, my poor friend, my poor hand. I think if I use two fingers on the same button, I can tap a bit faster, but like, it's not worth it. It's not, it's not worth doing that way. You didn't drop a coin. The game didn't drop a coin. It's so Jover. I actually gotta, I gotta, you gotta like dodge now and like hit him. It's over. It's over. The, the fucking fart fucked me over. Because <laughs> I didn't know where they were gonna come from. Ah, uh, oh well. <laughs> oh well. You can't, you can't have everything be a W all the time. We have fun here. We have fun here. We enjoy having fun here. It's all about fun. I'm gonna W tomorrow, I'm gonna uninstall this fucking game, dude.